I want to make this video really short and sweet just because the conversation keeps coming up about coming from me coming from money and my family having money and this whole thing and I just want to say like coming from the most rural spot and arguably in one of the most rural spots in America that didn't was not a wealthy town um, and going having gone to a boarding school where I didn't even know I was going or didn't have any concept of and got financial aid for it because my uncle worked in the administrative building and also being completely alienated from all the kids who already knew each other from New York City. I had such a tough time there because everyone knew how much money everyone had. So unfortunately, my experience every day was having people call me WT from LP, white trash from Lake Placid. So, I'm just saying this constant narrative when my parents were arguing about money every single day and my dad working as a woodworker and in real estate and my mom working in special education. Like, although he bought domain names later on, it doesn't mean that they were worth anything until more recently. So he was eccentric and amazing and ahead of his time in terms of what he was doing, but it doesn't mean that there was any money for us or to be made at the time. So I didn't even have any experience having anything until I was 26 and made my own money. I was living in a hostel on 17th Street when I, when I played Saturday Night Live. And how I played Saturday Night Live is because I had gotten a publishing deal in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, in the guest territories. So it's just very challenging because I think had we had money, I would have had a completely different experience and not fought so hard to be a singer, probably to my detriment, because I didn't want me or my family to struggle financially. Like, the music that comes from me comes from a place at that time of concern that we would not have money. That's the experience that I know. I, I didn't know anyone who had money until I went to a private school where I couldn't even make any friends except my roommate Christina and a couple girls, Annie and Jen, who accepted me and were cool. But, you know, you can't even find anyone from those schools who knew me because they wouldn't talk to me. So to say that, you know, this is the narrative, it's, it's just important that you know it's not. Like, it, it's not like it was fun living in the trailer park, necessarily. I signed my life away, 10 records for $10,000 to Five Points Records that Ben got me out of. Um, and I made that stretch for a year and one month by getting to stay at the Manhattan uh, RV mobile home in North Bergen. It's not a shtick. It's not like it was some glamorous getaway. Like, I really didn't know what to do and depended on the boyfriends that I had to let me stay with them. All that while, up until 26, you can ask Stephen Mertens, you can ask Josh Kemp. Like I didn't have, I didn't have a chance hardly. All of the cards were stacked against me, other than my voice. And my parents didn't even know I was singing until I was on Saturday Night Live. So, why this is important is just because it's not my truth. I would have no idea what it felt like to grow up with anything other than hearing fighting about money. And even on our monthly, like, spring break vacation every year, we drove to Daytona, not flew, because it was too expensive. So, I had a challenging experience all the way through. And to make it even more challenging, now I don't even get to have my authentic story told so that the music can be listened to and interpreted in a clear manner. So, that's my spiel, you know. It's been going on for 13 years now. It just, it's so sad that I can't own coming from like this beautiful rural mountain town where the character of people was completely different from anywhere I went afterwards. It's actually disrespectful to me and to my town where we worked so hard and where I, where I myself worked four jobs at a time just to even be like, if you want to know, why don't you go to my local town? Why don't you? ask them like they knew I got sent away they knew it was on financial aid there's no fact that checks out like that that it wasn't so it just sucks to have to explain myself over and over again because if that was 
the story I knew, I would love to tell it. I, I wish it was, honestly. Things would have been so much better.